All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Sunday morning, and uh, we're right in between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Luffstraps is going to have a deal over at their website for one more day, I do believe, through the end of the day today. They may move into the Cyber Monday, it may be the same deal, but you can receive up to 50% discount on Luff straps, depending on how many you purchase. The discount is uh, gets larger the more straps you purchase. But the other day, I went to order another one off the website. I love these G2 Elastico straps. I switched this one out between my um, Laco Cooks Heaven here and actually between that and my Tudor Black Bay. I currently have the Black Bay on its factory <clears throat> nylon strap, but I switch them out so often and I actually wanted another one of the blue straps. So I ordered one here and I or, uh, they threw in some extra straps for me to check out here on the channel. I did open the package, I'll tell you that, just because I wanted to see what came, but let me go ahead and show you guys how these are coming now. Now I'm not sure, I'm sure they still do the tins on single package purchases, but this was a bunch of different straps that came in this cool little bag here. So let's go ahead and get them out and see what we have. So like I said, I wanted, what were these? These are some little cards, Mafia vintage inspired straps. I do believe these are their newer straps with a little twist, 59.6 millimeters overall. So very interesting there. And then over here, we got some more stuff all aboard. Luffs Express, welcome to the crew, more than 200 reviews. So I love the way they do these kind of old timey cards and their packaging, especially with the, um, the little packaging, the candy style tin packaging they do. Really, really cool. Oh, and here's a explanation of how to wear the G1 style. The G1 style elasticos actually go under the watch case, whereas the G2s, they go around hook through the, um, the pinholes, or excuse me, through the spring bars, and there's actually nothing underneath the watch. So, all right, those are those. Let's go ahead and see what we have as far as straps go. Oh, this is kind of interesting color. It's like a khaki green. It's like a khaki in the middle or almost like a khaki dark khaki brown with the green on the outside. That's kind of different. And then we've got a Bond style strap here. I'm going to throw these on the watches just so we can check them out. They're using this real supple material and they've got a few different things going on here with these. You can see with this one it has a standard keeper set up. This one, if I noticed in the package, has a floating keeper it appears up here. So definitely different style. It looks like we have different buckle assemblies. This is going to be more your standard style here. Probably your less expensive versions. This looks like it's got more of a premium uh, style hardware on it. So we'll get this up. This looks like, well actually, and I'm just noticing, this is a single pass. Oh, so that's kind of cool. Single pass strap there. And this is going to be more your standard style. So that's going to be the big difference. These are both your standard style. This is going to be your single pass with the adjustable keeper up here, which is handy. And then of course, my other G2 Elastico. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it for just a second. We'll get these watches, or excuse me, these straps on some of the watches down here below and see what they look like. I'll just go ahead and show you real quick. I'm sure you guys remember seeing this here on the channel, but because the Laco has these fire blued hands on it, I love the touch of the blue in the strap and this Elastico strap with the white that goes into the case. But on the G2 style, as you guys can see here, it secures this end over here secures in with the spring bar. This portion here loops through, comes back around. As you can see here, will hook over like that. Now I think these are called like Marine National straps or something along those lines. If I got that wrong, please help me down there in the bottom. But let me go ahead and pause it and let's get some of these other straps on the watches we have down here in front of the camera. All right, guys, so there you go. I've thrown the uh, straps on the watches. A bunch of kind of an eclectic choice down here. I put this, uh, I put the Breitling Super Ocean here on this, um, excuse me, let that focus, this black and orange kind of a Bond style racing stripe. Looks kind of good, a little different. It's just fun, you know, what you can do with color combinations on NATO straps. I do like this classic style hardware here. I have to admit, I've always been a fan of kind of the simpler, uh, smaller hardware on straps. These are going for a really good deal over, like I said, at the Luff website. You know, we're getting near Christmas and whatnot. If you guys have watch collectors in the family, people that, you know, um, love to switch up their watch straps, it's a really good time. You know, you can buy five over there. I think if you get five, you get 50% off. This is the newer style single pass. This is kind of more of your thick, your thicker seatbelt style weave. So it's very uh, thick. I'm going to think it's probably more like 1.3 millimeters of thickness, but it also is supple. It's very soft, very nice to use. These ones do have more of your, um, what I would consider more uh, premium style hardware. You can see the Luff little logo there and the Luff watch straps 
emblazoned on the buckle assembly. This is kind of fun. Uh, I'm going to Disneyland this month, and so guys, I busted out my uh, Mickey Invicta, which to be honest with you, I've, I've hardly ever worn this watch, but it's going with me on my trip to Disneyland. I'm going to pair it with this uh, old-style classic uh, Bond-style strap here from Luff. Looks good, really makes the watch pop a little bit more. Looks good on the stainless steel strap, but it's going to be fun to wear some colors to Disneyland this next month. So that's that one. And then of course the Elastico. Now I was going to put this on my uh, Tudor, but I think it actually looks really, really good on this Borealis Sea Storm. These, these wear super, super well. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and pause it and we'll get one of the Elastico, the G2 Elasticos on my seven inch wrist. I really love the way these work. They're simple, simple to use. Um, and I mean, it's funny, I was telling my wife last night when I was showing her these, I said, they're kind of like the Spide of today. They're just these uh, elastic style straps, what I think are the Marine Nationale or whatever they're called. Really great straps. Luff has really impressive prices on these, much lower than some of the other manufacturers I've seen out there. So it looks good. And of course, over here we have the Laco Cook 7 on the Elastico G2. Also a little bit of a different color combination as you guys can see there. This one's a little bit darker, this one lighter blue. So I'm not sure if that's just a different material they pulled from, but looking really cool. So guys, I'm gonna leave a link down below to the website where you guys can check them out, get the Black Friday deal, probably a Sunday, or excuse me, a Cyber Monday deal going on over there also, but definitely good stuff to check out. Thanks to Luff for sending these straps out to me uh, to check out here on the channel. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.